So uh, we're on location up here in Dodge County, Wisconsin. Uh, I'm Charlie Hammer. Um, we've uh, worked with uh, Strip Till and, uh, and over the years, and uh, I farm with my uh, partner, Nancy Cavazangian, my wife. So it's uh, Hammer Cavazangian Farms. And right now, we're up here uh, taking a look what our modification is going to be on our Strip Till bar. What we did is we reinforced the 7x7 seven seven mainframe with a 5x5 five five tube inside the 7x7 seven seven welded in. We notched slots in it and welded them all in to give it a little more extra strength here. And we replaced the 7x7 seven seven 3 8 wall with 7x7 seven seven half inch wall. S same with the center section. And then the other wing is what was rebuilt as the right wing. I'm in the process of installing a Montag dry fertilizer box. We're getting that set uh, with the, it has the scales built into it. So we'll be able to monitor our uh, application rate. In, in the process then with the unit, we're um, putting Orthman strip till units with the spring coulter a uh, package on it. That's a double coulter offset running about four inches apart. Uh, we'll be installing dry fertilizer, two and a half inch dry fertilizer uh, hoses to every row and running a diffuser on it and uh, setting that up for spring application. Which this unit's going to be, we'll be uh, doing a purpose is dual. It's freshening up, aerating out a strip for our, uh, our crop and then also a fertility program is going on at the same time. Now what we did do was run a strip till bar in fall. So basically what we're going to be doing is freshening up the strip. Hopefully we're going to generate some heat units in that strip more than where the residue would be and get our crop off to a better start. We're probably trying to search out here and come up with the perfect unit. We have not done that yet. We think that the Orthman units are going to come close to what we're looking for, and they possibly will even exceed our expectations. So uh, we're basically taking a toolbar, modifying it, building it up to specifications that we can use a heavier strip tail unit in spring. Well, we're, what we're doing is uh, uh, our strip till bar, we're finding our, uh, our uh, soil biology is increasing, our, uh, our uh, organic matter is starting to uh, come up, and we're also uh, looking at the soil health of it and uh, the microbial activity, and that what we're finding is uh, uh, our earthworm populations, and we're all stri we're striving to enhance all of that, and we think we can do it. We're working in central north or south central Wisconsin here, so we're having an issue like this year here, 2013, with uh, a cold winter, cold spring actually so far. But we've seen so many of these colder, wetter springs that we have to get out, get a zone built residue free but not a depression and um, absorb every heat unit we can get in that April May part to get a crop up and going. Our target goal is to have a uh, you know a good stand and uh, and have a uh, uh, you know potential for a good yield. 